Hey guys, can you see me? Um, this is Julin and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, I'm very casual, no makeup, you on just some casual clothes and I headed down to my local thrift shop to pick up some things for my propagation succulent project that I've been doing as of lately. I wanted to share with you guys what I got. Everything I scored in this haul is under $30 altogether, which I think is an absolutely good find. Thumbs up if you love thrift shops like I do. Two things that I didn't walk into the store looking for and end up walking out with is this amazing piece right here. The classic wicker chair, but it's miniature and it has the rocking bottom, which I think is absolutely I don't know if I'm gonna leave it white or if I'm gonna paint it another color. If I do paint it another color, it'll probably be Tiffany blue. And I'm gonna use this in my living room and I'm gonna style it as a plant stand. So I'm super excited to do that. And then this guy here is just, you know, stand with three tiers and wheels. And I scored this for seven bucks. And I'm gonna use this as my propagation station. And what I went to the store for, these guys right here. So I wanted to find more glass bottles for propagation so I scored this guy and I was trying to look for things with a smaller top so that my succulents don't fall in or I don't have to use saran wrap to have them prop up. So I got this. This one's cute. Here's another one. And another one. So cute. That's a bear. And then I got a pack of eight of these guys. So they're a dollar each and it looks like this, which I think is perfect for propagation. So that concludes my casual short haul. I wanted to go ahead and share with you guys the things that I picked up from my local thrift shop. I love thrifting, I love succulents, I love plants. So today was a really good day for me in the thrifting world. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Aloha. Bye. Hey guys, so I wanted to just do a quick update on my next step of propagation and um, this is the little setup that I just created now with the thrifted items that I got at the thrift shop. I got shop. these little glass bottles and I um, filmed in my last video with my succulents that I got outdoors. I clipped them like this off of the main stem and I've just been having them lie down here and so it's been here chilling out um, but i want to help the roots grow so i got these little bottles and i'm filling them up with water and i'm just gonna let them sit here and um, i'm gonna monitor them and see how they do in the next few days if roots can grow because they look kind of sad so i want to just see what i can do to help them out but i'm basically just fitting them in the bottle like so update slowly getting there but take a look at my new setup so these are my wild succulents I have them in individual bottles and then these are from my store-bought succulents and I set them up this way for water propagation and it's looking pretty good I see some growth right over here which looks really good and also too um, I got a light last night and placed these over the babies on the top shelf here and it worked because I see some new growth so that is the current update um, my little farm propagation and um, it's looking really good Okay, I want to do a quick update on my plant life. So since I filmed this haul a couple of weeks ago, things has changed. The stand is now for stage two when my pups are rooted and in dirt. And my bottle collection has now tripled since I filmed this haul. I'm constantly thrifting every week and I'm picking up new things for my propagation station. These bottles are inexpensive and they're just fun to pick up. And it's great to have a variety of sizes because every succulent size is different. And I love being able to pick and choose which one I want to stick my little puppies in and they're just nice and propped up. Now as far as for my wild succulents, since I put them in water, it took about 6 to 8 weeks for them to get water roots. I think it's because they're wild, it takes a good minute for them to show any kind of roots. Nonetheless, I do love all of the bottles and the system that I started off with. Now this is kind of a general overview 
of how my propagation started off the beginning of the year but it's been two months now since I've had this system and it's changed. If you look on the left side, you see my little pups in saran wrap glass bowls. That really didn't work out too well for me, so I no longer do that anymore. I maybe got a few here and there that did bud, but otherwise I didn't like the system. So now I just kind of just keep them in individual bottles. I hope this video inspires you to get out and thrift and find inexpensive ways to be able to have a propagation station. You know, you can get cheap lights like this and I use them over my propagation station at night so that they can get light all the time to kind of just help them boost in growth. Thumbs up the video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Aloha, bye!